What's the fondest memory of your childhood? We don't know about you, but we literally got goosebumps every time we saw toys come to life in Toy Story. Although Woody was the protagonist of the movie, still it is a universally accepted fact that everyone loved and adored Buzz Lightyear. 2019 saw the release of Toy Story 4, however since then, there was no mention of Woody, Buzz, and the gang. Luckily, great things are about to happen this year as we will get to see Buzz Lightyear make a comeback in Disney and Pixar's movie called Lightyear. Do you know which actor will be the voice of Buzz Lightyear? Well, it's none other than our favorite Marvel hero, Chris Evans. Want to know more about how Chris landed this role and what clues the trailer of the upcoming movie hold? Just scroll down and get all the latest updates about the most highly anticipated movie of the year, Lightyear. Who was the original Buzz Lightyear? The first chapter of the Toy Story franchise was released in 1995. From 1995 till 2019, Tim Allen voiced Buzz Lightyear without a doubt, and he did an amazing job. The Infinity and Beyond was introduced to us through Toy Story, but this time the audience will get to see this character in a new light. From the trailer, it is easy to make out that the focus of the movie is Buzz and his journey in a different world. With this context in mind, one can easily discern why the directors and producers chose to select a new voice for the character. The main question is, how does Chris feel about taking on this project? The charming actor shared his excitement for the project saying, Animated movies were an enormous part of my childhood. They were my escape, my adventures, my dreams. They were my first window into the magic of storytelling and performing. Thank you doesn't even come close. In another statement, Chris said, The phrase, a dream come true, gets thrown around a lot, but I've never meant it more in my life. Anyone who knows me knows that my love for animated films runs deep. I can't believe that I get to be part of Pixar's family and work with these truly brilliant artists who tell stories unlike anyone else. Watching them work is nothing short of magic. I pinch myself every day. Is this the same buzz as the one in Toy Story? A lot of fans have been questioning whether the story of this Buzz Lightyear movie will be a continuation of the plot that we have seen previously in Toy Story. Let's put all such assumptions to rest because this buzz will be quite different from the buzzing buzz we have seen before. The director, Angus McLean, has talked about the different and distinctive nature of this project at great length. According to McLean, connecting this movie to Toy Story is the wrong way to perceive its fresh perspective. McLean simply explained the uniqueness of this movie, saying, set in a world of Toy Story is kind of weird. Another way to get at it, it's a straightforward sci-fi action film about Buzz Lightyear's character. In the Toy Story universe, it would be like a movie that maybe Andy would have seen. That would have made him want to buy a Buzz Lightyear figure. The movie doesn't end and then you see Andy eating popcorn. This is its own thing. This is standalone. It's the Buzz Lightyear movie. It's that character, but as a space ranger, not as a toy. McLean's explanation have been corroborated by Pixar. Last year, when Pixar officially announced its plan for this new project, their CEO revealed the inspiration behind Lightyear, saying, We designed Buzz Lightyear with the idea that he was a toy based on some really cool character from an epic blockbuster film. Well, all these years later, we decided it's time to make a film. The production house deliberately highlighted the unique nature of this movie and categorized it to be the origin of the Buzz character. According to Pixar, Lightyear is about the young test pilot that becomes the space ranger we know him to be today. You might be wondering, why did the creators of the movie feel the need to present Buzz's origin story? McLean explained the reason for this saying, My Lightyear pitch was, what was the movie that Andy saw that made him want a Buzz Lightyear toy? I wanted to see that movie, and now I'm lucky enough to get it made. In another interview, McLean discussed further about the conception of Buzz's origin story, saying, When you hear about the Buzz Lightyear of Toy Story, talk about his space rangerness or Star Command, it's very much a one-note amalgamation of sci-fi cliches. Which is the point of the movie. If you are going to make the world real, you can't have it constantly feeling like it's a derivative thing. However, beyond the sci-fi concept of the movie, 
The main aim of this movie is to entertain the audience, as McLean explained beautifully in an interview, saying, I feel like we've lost a sense of joy, unfortunately in a lot of larger films. So I try to instill that again. The Toy Story Buzz seems to be struggling with one problem. He was in disagreement over the nature of reality. We saw this side of his personality in the very first Toy Story movie, where Woody knows he was just a toy, but Buzz firmly believes himself to be a space ranger. The 2011 Toy Story tunes showed the character of a miniature Buzz who was disturbed with the same kind of affliction. You might find it odd, but back then, the creators of the Toy Story franchise wanted the audience to see and experience the dilemma Buzz faced as McLean explained. So for us, the core idea that we wanted to build upon was how do you have a character out of step with the world around them? If you think that the new Buzz will be acting completely out of character than the old Buzz, then you're wrong. Our new buzzing buddy will be sharing some qualities with the Toy Story Buzz. For starters, both animated versions of Buzz have the same uniform and their life motto is the same, which means their catchphrase is, to infinity and beyond. Another interesting development reported about the new Lightyear movie is that it might show the rivalry between Buzz and Emperor Zurg, who was Buzz's arch rival in Toy Story. McLean also hinted about the possibility of such a scenario, saying, if the core elements of what Buzz is were to be paid off correctly, you would want to make sure that he had a laser. You'd probably want to make sure that he had rocket legs. And you probably want to make sure that at some point he had a recognizable antagonist. But of course, I'm not at liberty to say anything about anything at this time. The trailer. Lightyear's trailer finally came out and boy oh boy, we are excited to see the movie. Like always, the trailer has piqued our curiosity with clues and hints about the story of the movie. The much-awaited trailer starts with a shot showing Buzz getting ready to start his test flight, saying, a year of work for a four-minute flight. As soon as Buzz finishes off his first dialogue, we see him being grabbed by a mysterious green tentacle, which appears in the background. The trailer further shows that Buzz and his companions are stuck on a strange planet for more than a year. Buzz is shown to be testing and checking their spacecraft so that they can all safely escape from the planet and get back home. In the trailer, we are introduced to other characters such as Sox, which is a cat robot and is voiced by Peter Son. Buzz's robotic cat seems to be a comic character with slightly annoying traits. His funniest quality is that he can play white noise with his open mouth for Buzz so he can sleep. The most thrilling scene focuses on Buzz sitting in the cockpit, flying away in the galaxy at super speed so he could find a way out of this problem. And unfortunately, he finds himself in a tight spot, surrounded by massive robots attacking him. Most fans have been drawing parallels between Lightyear and movies like Star Wars as apparently their screenplay and graphics have been the same vibe. But was this something intentionally instilled in the movie? McLean answered this question saying, I would say Pixar Star Wars was the common language when we started in 97. That's the thing that we couldn't get out of our minds. The world was forever changed once we saw Star Wars. It's pretty inextricable, that sensibility. I think the parallel to Lightyear isn't necessarily intentional. I'm not really interested in repeating stuff or reminding audiences of better movies, but there are a lot of visual lessons from the movie of that era. Other voice cast members of Lightyear include Kiki Palmer, Dale Souls, Taika Waititi, Uzo Aduba, James Brolin, Mary McDonald Lewis, Efren Ramirez, and Isaiah Whitlock Jr. If you are heading straight to the cinemas to catch this movie, then hold your horses, because Lightyear will be released by June 2022. Till then, you can entertain yourself with its trailer. So there you have it, folks. We have shared the most guarded secrets about the upcoming project only with you. Let us know in the comments section down below what you feel about the new buzz. We love hearing your creative fan theories. Stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching.